Hey farm hands, farm boy Reef here. So on today's episode of the lab, we're gonna start doing the cycle on all three of these 60 gallon tanks. So for some fun, what we're gonna do is we're gonna name these tanks for a year. So the one on my right here, um, this one here, we're gonna call this one Krypton from Superman. The one behind me, we're gonna call uh, Asgard from uh, Thor. And the one on my left here is uh, Tatooine from Star Wars. So they all have their names. So why am I doing this? Well, if you go, I go on my iPad here, I program downloaded the app. It's called uh, Reef Tank Pro. And what you do is you put all our information. So for the full year, we're gonna put all our data in here. So I end up putting all three tanks. I got Krypton, Asgard, and Tatooine. So this way we can track the progress of each tank as we're doing different testings. So with the cycle, we're gonna be testing for uh, ammonia, uh, nitrate, and, nit and that's the ones that we're gonna test here because it's very toxic for fish. And that's what we're gonna do. We're, today we're gonna talk about that cycle, what's gonna take place. Um, we're gonna end up, we're gonna add some uh, beneficial bacteria and why we should do this. And it's, it's great to have in your tank when you're starting out just from fresh rock. And the rock you choose is very important as well. You want a nice porous rock. So this bacteria, the more surface area you have in your tank for bacteria to live on, the better to break down all the nitrates, phosphates, and ammonia that's in your tank. So let's start off. What we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna t do a few tests here. We're gonna test all tanks for their phosphates, for their nitrates, and ammonia to see how they are. So we'll do all those tests. And then after that, we're gonna, end up, we're gonna add the bacteria. We're gonna do a few tests to see the bacteria count. And then in a few days, we're gonna do the same tests again to see how well this uh, bacteria took off. If it dropped all the ammonia levels down and all the nitrate phosphate, so everything's a safe level so we can start adding fish and corals. Because as soon as we have that, we're good to go. Anything, any uh, like ammonia levels, point, point, uh, 0 0.1 is too high for fish, so we're looking at anything below that. So. Let's go ahead, let's start on these tanks. I think we're gonna start with uh, uh, Krypton tonight. So what we're all about to do is we're gonna pick on our, our Krypton uh, tank right here. And then we're gonna, we're just gonna add our entry. So we're gonna pick. So why don't we start with, uh, we'll start with ammonia. NH3 on each tank and see what the levels are at guys. All right gang, so we're gonna test for ammonia on all three of these tanks. So what we need to do is we need to grab our vial and we need to grab our two mill milliliter syringe and we gotta take some sample water. So we're gonna take two mil of our uh, from Krypton. So we get two, uh, two mil from Krypton, so we just take out a little bit, get rid of the air, the air bubbles. So we have two mil exact, so we add two milliliters. Then we keep reading our instructions, so fill the syringe for one mil. All right, now we hold that and then we go, we're gonna shake that for 30 seconds. Seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then we're gonna add the other, uh, the other half of the syringe after the thirty seconds is up. All right. So we add the other rest of the syringe, and then we shake that for uh, ten seconds, and then we put a timer on for three minutes. Sorry, can you set timer for three minutes? Okay, three minutes and counting. So we're gonna wait three minutes, gang. So uh, Krypton, we'll end up, gonna, we're gonna know what the ammonia level is on it, and then we're gonna put it into our app, okay? Okay, gang, so the three minutes is up. So if we look at it, we look from the side, so we can see what our ammonia level's at. So as you guys can see here, I'll bring you guys up close and personal. It's looking like a, a 1.25. So on a brand new cycle tank, you can see how low the ammonia is see that so what we're gonna do here when we end up putting this bacteria in, we're gonna add some fish food we're not gonna put a live fish in there to start you know the, the cycle of ammonia because when fish breathe that's one byproduct of what goes in your tank through their gills is ammonia and if you get too much ammonia in your tank you'll end up uh, killing all your fish so what we need is the, the bacteria there's two different bacteria one that will uh, feed on the ammonia and then from that night it turns into nitrate and then the other uh, bacteria will eat the nitrate of that and that's how this whole cycle works so we end up adding this bacteria we need something to start that ammonia and get the ammonia in there to feed the beneficial bacteria that we're going to add so you guys can see it's about a 0.25 so we we'll end up with open up our app so I'm going to add in here it's a uh, what do we got we got a 0 0.25 0 0.25 on uh, the cryptodon tank and then what you can do as well so we want to keep this in our records we just place this to the side and we can actually take a picture for our file of the color it was right at the start of this project. 
you end up, you can add that right in. So we use the use that, and and we hit save. So now we have the ammonia in the file. It was a 0.25 when we first started this tank, and then we can move on. So now we're going to do the next tank. So let's go into Asgard, and we're going to pick we're going to pick uh, ammonia again, and we're going to do this tank. So that was our first test for ammonia for. Uh, for Krypton, so we're gonna grab another vial. We're gonna grab another two milliliters. Make sure we got no air bubbles. And we're gonna put that in the vial. So we're gonna do this whole process again. We're gonna grab another one mil of solution. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So now we're gonna add the other half. We're going to shake that for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Please start the timer for 3 minutes, Siri. Okay, I started a 3 minute timer. So we got a 3 minute timer for, uh, for Asgard. We'll see what the, the ammonia levels are on this one, and then we're going to move on to, to Tuni. All right, gang? All right, gang, so the timer's done. So let's look at it again. So we put it to the side as well. We're looking at it here. This one's about a 0.25, a little heavier on the 0.25, as you guys can see. I'll take a picture for it for you guys. So again, it's about 0.25, so it should be the same tank, same rock, same sand. So I'm just gonna put it into the, into the app here, uh, 0.25. And we're going to take a picture, so we have it for our file. So this is, this will be handy as we keep going through uh, the process here. We can track how the how the tank's been cycling, and as we go through the year, we can see how everything's been taking place. All right, so we have to do one more tank. So we're going to do uh, Tatuni now, and we're going to pick uh, ammonia. All right, gang. So uh, let's go to Tatuni. We're going to get our two milliliters of uh, sample water. We are two mil, so we're gonna do the, exactly the same thing again. Two milliliters of that, one milliliter of our reagent. Make sure it's at the one mil mark. We're good to go. Add half. 28, 29, 30. Then we add the other 50%. Again, 10 seconds. We get Surrey open here. Suri, please set timer for three minutes. Okay. We'll put these in order. So we're doing for three minutes. I can already tell this one a little bit bluer. So we'll give her three minutes to see uh, what Tatuni's uh, sitting at for ammonia. All right, gang. So uh, we got our ammonia test for the next one. And if we look through the side, you guys can see it's a little bit of blue. It's about 0.025 as well. Same thing. I'll take a picture for you guys so you can check it out. So they're all about the same now, guys, for ammonia levels. So I'll just open up my app, and I'm going to put program that into here as well. So uh, 0.25, and we're going to take a picture of it for our file. So we have it. Save that. All right, so we have all the information. We've got all the ammonia for all our tanks. I'll screenshot this for you so you guys can see it as well. So now that we're done that, let's move on to uh, into our nitrate uh, now. All right, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna test that for NO3 uh, for uh, nitrate right now. So we need to get one milliliter of our tank water here. So we'll get one mil. Make sure all air bubbles are out. We're gonna add that to our first test. So we add that. We read our instructions. Now we're gonna add four drops of uh, NO3. Uh, please set the timer for three minutes. Okay, I started a three minute timer. All right, so we're gonna leave the timer run for three minutes and then we're gonna test it onto our card. We're hopefully, you know, we're cycling for a tank. You know, we're always shooting for around zero, you know, zero to one. So let's see what's gonna happen here, guys. So while we're waiting, we're gonna open up our app and then we're gonna, so we're gonna pick uh, Krypton. We're gonna add, we're testing for, uh, Nitrate, right there, and then we'll type. All right, guys. So uh, 
we got our test here. It's been three minutes. So if we look through the side of it, we're looking pretty good. Like it's between a zero and a two. As you guys can see, it's a zero and a two. And we're going to divide that down by 10. Example, so we're two by two. So that's our, I'm going to punch that into our, uh, into our reef app and we'd be good to go. And then on to Asengard and see uh, what we got. So I'm just going to type that in. And we're going to take the picture of it. So we have that on file. So let's move on to uh, Asgard. So let's take uh, another, take a mill. Make sure all the air bubbles are out. We're going to add that. We're going to add four drops NO3. Surrey, set the timer for three minutes. Okay. All right, guys, so the timer's done. We look at it again. We're on the same, so these tanks are pretty much running all the same right now. We're about the 1.1 to 2 ppm parts per million. Same thing, guys. So let's put that into our, let's put that into our app. So we'll save that one. Go to our tanks. We go to Tuni. We pick uh, nitrate. And we're same thing. And we'll take a photo of it so we have it. Save. All right, so now we've done all three tanks with ammonia, nitrate, and now we're going to do uh, phosphates as well. We're going to do some PO4. All right, gang, so now we're going to test for PO4 for phosphates. This is a real interesting one. I want to see how much uh, phosphate's in uh, the rocks and the sand and all that. So everything else has been tested out pretty good. So let's go ahead and do this. So what we need to do is we need 10 milliliters of our water. So let's get 10 milliliters of uh, Krypton. So there's five. Ten. So we got 10 milliliters. Krypton, and we keep reading at four drops of PO1. Can you add four drops? One, two, three, four. All right. And swirl for 10 seconds. So one, two, three. three. Now we just go to the side of the chart to see what we have. So you guys can see that's pretty clear. Now for phosphates for PO4, it's almost pretty much reading zero. So we have uh, Marco's rock in there and I have uh, sand and it's doing really well. We're like zero phosphates already. So that's amazing guys. So I have another, uh, I have a jug put aside with Marco's rock in it with the same water in it that we're going to test very soon to see how the PO4, if there's any PO4 just leaching off uh, the Marco's rock. But what I can see here, nothing's leaching at all. So that's pretty good. All right, guys. So I'm gonna. So let's uh, let's move on to Osgard and do the same thing. So let's get uh, 10 mil. So there's five. There's 10. All right. So let's add uh, four drops. PO4, one, two, three, four. So we got four drops in that. And then with PO4, they actually they want you to look through, look through it, not through the side. So if you're looking through it, to me, it looks like it's reading from zero, between zero and 0, 0 0.03 again. So to me, with all this Marcos rock in here, and you hear a lot of uh, people saying, oh, Marcos rock is just full of PO4, it's leaching PO4. But if you guys see right there, that's pretty clear. That's like zero PO4 right in a new tank. That's pretty amazing. So good job, Marco. That's awesome. So we have Azengard. It's looking great. I'll take a picture for that you as well. So let's move on to Tatuni. Let's get uh, 10 mil. Let's put four drops, guys. One, two, three, four. The bottom on the PO4. You guys can see, reading zero. 
Look at that. That's perfect. So let's uh, let's put that into the app. So that was uh, Tatuni. We're gonna add the 4 Take a picture for our records. Boom. All right, so there we go. We just tested the PO4 on all three of these tanks, and we're reading about zero to like 0.3, but nothing that's toxic at all. So that's amazing. Good job, Marco. I'm pretty impressed. And I even have the sand in there with Marco's rock and his E400 uh, bonding agent that I end up putting the tanks together with. And to me, there's no PO4 in this Marco's rock at all. So all these people that say, hey, it's full of PO4, to me, it's looking great in my lab and I'm happy I'm using it. So good job, Marco. All right, so we just did all those tests, guys. So what we're gonna do now is like a little information on the cycle and what we're gonna do. Um, for these tanks, so we just tested everything. We're gonna we're gonna add we're gonna add uh, beneficial bacteria. What they're gonna do is they're gonna help with the nitrate phosphate levels as these tanks are cycling as well. And then uh, what they're gonna do is I'm gonna add some uh, fish food so we can get the ammonia spike higher. So that's gonna feed uh, this bacteria, and that's what's gonna happen, guys. So we want to have a beneficial bacteria that's in there. What's gonna happen is as our fish and our corals and we're feeding, the more bacteria you have in your tank is gonna break down all kinds of waste, guys. So you're gonna break down all the ammonia, the phosphates, the nitrates, and keep yourself like a nice, healthier tank all over. That's gonna keep your fish and your uh, corals really happy, guys. All right, gang. So we're gonna talk about uh, the ORP redox meter. If you guys have one of these, what we're gonna do here on these uh, new tanks that we haven't had any bacteria or anything, we just tested our nitrates and our phosphates. So what we're gonna do before we add the bacteria, what this what this does is a uh, oxidation reduction potential meter. It's gonna test the uh, electrons that are in the tank. So this is saying, we're, uh, with the more uh, the more of the ORP you have in your tank, it helps break down uh, all the nitrogen phosphates and all that stuff and ammonias. So by saying is the more bacteria we have in there, it's going to break all these things down. So that's what it can, that's what it tests for, guys. It can test for how much actual uh, living bacteria is like in your tank. So say if you have a fish go missing, you put this in your tank, you can pretty much pinpoint that that tank, uh, that fish is dead because it's breaking down, creating all that ammonia and the creating nitrates and phosphates and then the bacteria is going to eat that up. You'll have a spike and you'll be able to test that with your ORP meter. So this is good. So what we're going to do here, these are new tanks. I want to do is test uh, before we put the bacteria in the water, what we're reading at. So we're going to turn this on. I've already uh, calibrated this to 400. Um, a normal tank, we're looking about uh, we're looking about from a 300 to 340 range. That's like a natural seawater of uh, ORP. So let's go ahead and start. I want to open up my app, and then I'm gonna I want to make sure we keep all this data each tank. So uh, we're gonna end up we're gonna start with uh, we're gonna start with Krypton. We're gonna see what we're reading at. So you guys can see it's at a negative uh, 23, 24 right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this in here. I got my water so we can make sure. Um, we rinse it before each time so we don't contaminate. So we stuck our ORP meter in here in the water. Let's move it around a bit. So we're reading a two, still moving a bit. We'll just give it a little bit. So we want our tanks to be around the 340 range. So right now we're sitting about, still can do a bit of a countdown, still leveling out. So Krypton is sitting about a, a 250. So Krypton is sitting about a 250. So we're gonna put that into the, we're just gonna rinse this off, make sure we don't contaminate the other tank. So we're sitting at a 250. So I'm gonna add this, uh, the ORP. So uh, right here, and we're putting a uh, 250 in. We'll save that. So we'll move on to our next tank. Let's move on to Asgard. So we have that rinsed off. So let's see what this tank is sitting at. So if you ever have a fish go missing or something, you have one of these meters, you can stick it in here and you can pretty much pinpoint that the, either the fish is dead, then you know if you have a spike, it would read on here and you would know uh, but the fish is dead. So this one's pretty much sitting around. We said we had the other one, Krypton was 250. This one's still counting down a bit. We're at 250 now. 
still moving down a bit. So this tank, this one here is at 247. All right, guys, 247. So let's rinse this off, rinse the probe. So let's type into this one, let's add it. So let's save that one. And let's move on to, to Tuni. Let's pick this out already, so let's get it here. So let's move over, we got that rinsed off. Let's see what the ORP is on this thing. We're at 268 and still counting down. So in a few days to come after we add the bacteria, we're gonna do all these readings again and we'll see how the bacteria is doing. So it's almost counting down again. We're at 256. Fifty-four to tuning is a two fifty, guys. Two fifty. So let's punch that in. So these tanks are all their ORP is pretty much around the same. So let's save all that data. All right. So all three tanks, we have all the testing done. So what we're gonna, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add uh, two bottles of bacteria to each tank to start the cycle, and then I'm going to add uh, some just some uh, some fish food. So it's gonna break down, create pneumonia, and so we end up, we can feed our bacteria, because we wanna have a really nice high uh, bacteria count, and then we'll stick the ORP back in there, and then we'll be able to see how the, how the bacteria is uh, doing their cycle. The more bacteria, the better, the more beneficial for our tank to break down all these different elements. So let's get these put in. So let's start with uh, Krypton. So there's one bottle for Krypton. Second bottle for Krypton. So let's start, we'll turn Tunzi on here. So there's two bottles for Krypton. Let's add two bottles to Asgard. So there's one bottle. Two bottles. So what we're gonna do right now is, I'm only gonna add two bottles each to uh, Asgard and Krypton. I'm gonna leave Tatooine all by itself. So when we do the next test, I wanna test uh, the ORP in both of these tanks, test everything against uh, Tatooine. So that will be like our test subject to see how the bacteria is taking off, how this whole effect's gonna be. So we're gonna leave that one. It's gonna be behind a little bit, guys, the cycle, but I wanna do that testing to make sure with the bacteria, we're gonna feed it with the ORP, check the nitrates and phosphates against the tank that we haven't done anything to yet. All right, guys, so we got that all in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop a little bit of little fish food in here just to feed the tank, just to get that cycle going on, both of these. Just like that. And I'm just gonna add just a little bit of fish food into Tuni. Just to show like adding bacteria and not adding bacteria. How it's all gonna how it's all gonna play out guys. There we go. So all tanks are all set up. We did all the testing on it. So we have the bacteria. So in uh, another video to come, we're gonna retest all these to see how everything's gonna take off. I'm really excited to try all the bacteria. You know, with Marcos Rock, it's a very nice uh, horse rock as well. So 
It's a lot of snot and nooks and crannies for all this bacteria to grow on and uh, make all these tanks really healthy in times to come. And I can't wait to get all the fish and corals in there for you guys. So with this process, with using this bacteria with this one here, it should just take about a week to cycle. So we're gonna do some more testing. So another video to come and see how all my results take off compared to adding all the bacteria and stuff, guys, all right? So thanks for tuning in this week, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, same time, same place, and uh, we'll end up having some more testing coming on and let the fun begin. We'll have all the fish and corals coming up very soon. So thanks, everyone. Please subscribe and hit the like button.